Hey everybody, it's Steve. If you have DMX stage lights, you're probably eventually going to want to hang them up in the air. And there's a few different ways that you can do it. In this video, I want to show you the simplest way that you can mount lights to a basic T-stand, then show you a better way to do it that gives you more flexibility, and also show a better kind of stand that you can actually raise up using a crank, show how you can mount lights to a simple portable truss, and finally, how you can mount lights to your ceiling and how to secure them using a safety cable. Most of my small stage lights have little feet on the bottom, and the easiest way to get them started is just set them on a table or the floor, plug them in, and let them run. Most PAR lights come with mounting brackets or yokes that you can use to set the light on the table or on the floor and use for uplighting applications. But if you want to get your lights up in the air, the simplest way is with a basic T-stand. The tubes or pipes in a T-stand typically have holes drilled in them that the mounting bolts go through. And most lights come with a mounting bracket that the mounting bolt goes through. And then on the back of the light, the mounting bracket is attached on with these small Allen screws. And you tighten them down with an Allen wrench. With the mounting bracket attached, the bolt goes up through the hole and then a washer a lock washer, and a wing nut screw down on the bolt to keep the light in place. Wing nuts are the best way to attach. That way you don't need any tools to take lights on and off the bar. With a basic T-stand, sometimes it's difficult to get your lights up in the air after you've rigged them. But a stand like this has an awesome feature. It's called a crank-up stand. And once your lights are rigged, turn this crank, and up into the air they go. Most stands like this will go up at least 10 feet. A more flexible way to attach a fixture to the pipe on a T-stand is with something called a C-clamp. It looks like this. This one is made by Chauvet. And the fixture attaches to the bottom of the clamp, and then when you turn the set screw, it slides along the tube or pipe. And the obvious advantage being that you can position it anywhere and spread or space your lights out and not be limited by where the holes are drilled. If your rig is a little bit larger, you might want to use a truss. This one is supported on each side by crank-up T-stands and it's five feet wide. But you can add additional sections to span 10 feet, even 15 feet if your lights aren't that heavy. To get this rig in the air, if you're by yourself, you just crank a little bit on each side until everything goes up. It's much easier if you have an assistant. Here's another kind of clamp that works well. It's compact and you can leave it attached to the light. And it has this little arm that flips over the pipe and then this screw flips up and the wing nut spins down and secures it. So to put it on the pipe, you flip over the arm, slide the bolt in, and tighten the wing nut. And it works very well. If you're lucky enough to have a place where you can permanently set up a lighting rig, you might want to hang your lights from the ceiling. This is a small triangle truss, six inches across, with two five-foot sections that are bolted to the ceiling. And I used three-eighths inch steel hanger bolts that are threaded into the ceiling's wood beams or joists. Then these thick metal plates that are used for construction have the hanger bolt going through the center and then a lock nut onto the machine bolt side of the hanger bolt 
which holds the truss up against the ceiling. This truss is attached with three of these hanger bolts, and it easily holds up small lights like these mini beams and pars. A good safety practice on any rig where lights are hanging is to use safety cables. You put the cable over the truss and through the hanging bracket and clip it together with the snap hook. And if any of the mounting hardware on the light fails, the cable will keep it from falling. Some fixtures like my awesome Wi-Fi laser cube include safety eye bolts. And in this instance, you cinch the cable around the truss and you clip the snap hook into the ring. I hope this video gave you a few ideas for how to get your lights up in the air. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.